друзья, финальный день серии. Только что завершился турнир хайроллеров серии Millions Russia. Рядом с нами Патрик Антонис, который занял второе место в этом событии. Патрик, tell us about this tournament. Uh, long tournament, four day event for yeah. 10k high rollers. So, uh, stressed out a lot. Uh, uh, lots of up and downs, a lot of battling. Uh, Uh, eventually, I'm I'm okay to finish second, but it was I had my chances yesterday also, and and uh, it's never easy. Uh, at the end, uh, always you know the short stacks win the all ins and so on. And, and but uh, overall, I'm very happy how I played. Um, I think it was one of the best tournaments this year for me, uh, playing wise. Luck wise, maybe not. But uh, still, second is good. Mm. Uh, yesterday, everyone won, uh, wanted stopped to play. Mm, almost, yeah. almost everyone, yeah, except you. So you played almost uh, six eight, hours. six and hours, yeah. Uh, why you didn't want to stop? What uh, what was your motivation? Well, I had my reasons, obviously. Um, I had a flight last night that I missed. Uh, to me, it would have been better if he finished, uh, if he would have stopped earlier. Mm -hmm. But now it was four o'clock already in the morning, and we were four left. And uh, to me, we could have finished in two hours if, you know, you never go, never know when, um, when we have all ins and so on. And and also, I wasn't tired. Everybody else were tired. And uh, yeah, I, I prefer to play than. Uh, 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 what was uh, what was your the longest session offline? I played some long sessions. Uh, I played a private game once, which is really extreme. I I had like six, seven hours sleep in five days, and uh, mm -hmm. that was like a triathlon for poker. Uh, but I, I had a lot of sessions where you just played 24 hours or 30 hours straight and. Uh, The poker condition is there. Okay, uh, I have <laughs> I have very maybe strange question, <laughs> but it's so interesting for me. Um, I noticed <laughs> that you eat a lot mm. <laughs> every time when mm. I look at you. You are eating <laughs> every mm. time, really. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, Where does it go? <laughs> 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 It's not that bad. <laughs> That's my first question. <laughs> But you're not uh. too big <laughs> for, all, for all this food. <laughs> so first question: <laughs> how, how? And second question: uh, Do you count calories? And uh, how many calories do you eat? Ten thousand. Second question: <laughs> I don't count calories. I don't know how to count calories. Uh, I think ten thousand um, about. <laughs> um, You know, I have my things and uh, I do a lot of sports obviously, so I burn a lot and my metabolism is because of that very high, I think. Um, you know, there's a, like when I play poker, I don't, um, I, I don't like to play when I'm hungry. What new Russian words did you learn? A uh, couple of funny ones. I, I learned a lot of one, but the one that is sticking in my head for sure is is Tirpila. Tirpila! Dmitry. So yeah, let's just talk about the Seriously poker a bit. Poker yeah. So uh, you had a chance to play with some more Russian players this week than probably before. What, is anybody impressed you? What's your general opinion about the Russian players here? Um, it's very, ni very nice to play with them. Um, usually they, they play with good rhythm. It looks like they have good sport, a sport spirit with them. Um, like uh, you know, everybody is competitive, and uh, you know you can see that they have played a lot. Uh, a lot of new generation players who are like cal calculating everything, and and um, but it was very nice to play. Uh, people like to play. How do you feel that was atmosphere here during the tournaments? A very relaxing atmosphere. It was only yesterday when we had the final table and everybody got tired. It was there was a moment of couple hours of kind of silence. When did this love for the tournaments came back for you? Yeah, it kind of happened a little bit accidentally. Um, 
I played a couple events last year. Like for me, it was a lot when I played like five events or six. And then I, I enjoyed to play those. And I saw also the fields that they were kind of soft in the, some high rollers what I played. And then I decided to just uh, start to play more this year. And I won my first tournament this year. I played in Rosfordo and uh, and then uh, I basically got an amazing start. I mean, I made uh, four final tables in the first five tournaments. So, you know, if you make those results, then it's it's more fun, especially tournaments. Like when you always play with different players you haven't played before. And there's always the challenge of, of uh, learning very fast how they play or trying to trying to learn uh, whatever you can. And also everybody has different things, different tells. Uh, you meet new people, you see how they deal with the pressure, with the money, with everything. Uh. And how much time are you actually working on improving, improving your game nowadays? That is a good question and uh, many people probably find it very, um, very surprising that I don't actually work much at all. And I do with the same base that I've had always uh, in poker, which is just uh, my head. And I have a very good memory. Um, I do things outside of poker that keeps me very focused. Um, so when I come to play, I'm fresh. I always see everything. I kind of, uh, I think one of the best skills what I have is reading people and then adjusting very fast based on how they play. And you know, this is live poker. It's it's. Uh, it's a completely different skill set than online. Like for example to me, like we we're talking about the the game game theory optimal. If you're gonna if you're gonna apply that to your game a lot and you go to play some small event with thousands of players, you can just throw that thing to the trash in my opinion. Because people don't play like that. And and you have to just watch every single player how they play and trying to figure out everyone and you know adjust your game based on that this is this is poker but when people start to play optimally like in the super high rollers then uh, then you need that and you need to know how they approach the game their ranges and so on and i like to battle with these young guys i, I call the new generation hope to see you in more battles <laughs> in the near future thank you Друзья, это была серия Millions Russia, турнир High Rollers, Патрик Антониус. Но уже через 10 дней мы перемещаемся на Алтай, где с 24 августа по 2 сентября пройдет серия Евразийский покерный тур Алтай. Увидимся там.